गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन वेलकम अगेन टू योर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज क्लास दिस इज चैप्टर नाइनटीन फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस इज यूज टू एक्सप्रेस एन एक्शन दैट विल बी कम्प्लीटेड बिफोर सम अदर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इन फ्यूचर स्टूडेंट्स हम फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस को यूज करते हैं उन एक्शंस को डिस्क्राइब करने के लिए उन इवेंट्स को एक्सप्रेस करने के लिए जो कि फ्यूचर में एक पर्टिकुलर टाइम से पहले कंप्लीट हो चुके होंगे टू मेक द फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस यूज विल हैव विद द वर्ब्स थर्ड फॉर्म फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस में हम सेंटेंसेस को बनाने के लिए यूज करते हैं विल हैव और साथ में वर्ब की थर्ड फॉर्म को फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही विल हैव अराइव्ड I will not have arrived. They will not have slept. Now, what are its uses? It is used to express an action that will be completed before some stated time in future. ये express करता है उन action को जो कि future में एक particular time से पहले complete हो जाएंगे For example, I will have taken tea by सेवन o'clock. मैं सात बजे तक चाय ले लूँगा to show time expressions like by then until for example they will not have finished their work until then tab tak wo apna kaam finish nahi kar chuke honge now some other examples it is used to express an action which will have finished or completed before a specific time in the future ek specific time se pehle hi जो काम खत्म हो जाएंगे उनको एक्सप्रेस करता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल बाय फाइव ओ क्लॉक आई विल हैव फिनिश्ड माई वर्क पाँच बजे तक मैं अपना वर्क फिनिश कर चुका होऊंगा। नेक्स्ट इज इट इज यूज टू एक्सप्रेस एन एक्शन विच विल हैव फिनिश्ड और कंप्लीटेड बिफोर अनदर एक्शन इन द फ्यूचर फ्यूचर में किसी दूसरे एक्शन से पहले ही वो काम खत्म हो चुका होगा उन एक्शंस को एक्सप्रेस करने के लिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल शी विल हैव कुक डिनर बाय द टाइम वी अराइव हमारे पहुंचने से पहले वो खाना पका चुकी होगी नेक्स्ट इज इट इज यूज टू एक्सप्रेस एन एक्शन विच बिगन बिफोर जो पहले से शुरू हो चुका था एंड विल कॉन्टिन्यू अप और तब तक चल रहा होगा जब तक फ्यूचर में कोई दूसरा एक्शन होगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल बाय द नेक्स्ट वीक We will have been married for ट्वेंटी years. वो ट्वेंटी years से married हैं लेकिन next week वो उनका ट्वेंटी years जो married life का है वो time period पूरा हो चुका होगा So students, this is the structure of sentence formation. First of all, in affirmative sentences, the sentence structure will be subject plus will have plus verb third form. For example, he will have made a plan. In negative sentences, we add not after will but before have. Then the sentence structure will be subject plus will plus not plus have plus verb third form. For example, he will not have made a plan. Now, in interrogative sentences, will or shall will come on first place. Then subject, then have, then verbs third form. For example, will he have made a plan? Next is W H questions. W H questions. What, whom, where, when. The sentence structure will be W H word plus will or shall plus subject plus have plus verb third form plus other words with interrogative sign. For example, what shall I have eaten before my mother cooks food? Next is interrogative negative sentences. Shall or will. then subject then not then have then verbs third form plus other words with interrogative sign look at the sentence example here shall i not have opened a new restaurant by next year okay students it's a very easy concept i hope you get it very well i have some more example to make it more understandable have a look will you have gone to school interrogate I will have gone to school affirmative I will not have gone to school negative I will have crossed the river by sunset affirmative He will have passed this his exam in April affirmative Now students look at last two examples by sunset in April 
these are the action which are which will be completed before some stated time whether it is by sunset or in april look at page number 131 and 132 in part a you have to rewrite the following sentences after changing them in future perfect tense with the help of given words in the bracket the workers built the building the workers will have built the building by this month the traffic police blocked the roads due to vip movements before tomorrow morning the traffic police will have blocked the roads due to vip movements before tomorrow morning in part c you have to frame yes no questions the chef will have prepared the breakfast before the arrival of the guest will the chef have prepared the breakfast before the arrival of the guest the parcel will have reached at its destination before midnight will the parcel have reached at its destination before midnight in part d you have to make sentences in question form the airplane will have departed by the time you reach at the airport when when will the airplane have departed the migratory birds will have crossed the pacific ocean by the next month what what will be what will the migratory birds have crossed by the next month in part e you have to change into interrogative negative the municipal corporation will have picked up the garbage from the historical sites before the starting of the next year the question form will be will the municipal corporation not have picked the garbage from the historical sites before the starting of the next year next is shopkeepers will have given hefty discounts before the onset of festive season will shopkeeper not have given hefty discounts before the onset of festive of season okay students it's your homework time you have to attempt remaining parts of a b c d e on page numbers 131 32 33 and 34 in your grammar book very neatly thank you have a great day have fun